What up, SMT Nation? Just happened. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. All right, so the uh, tower upgrade at my workplace has been a work in progress for a few months now. I want to say they kind of started the upgrade back in March. And I, I don't know what held it up exactly, but the work appeared to be done. There were some cables that were hanging over the last like month or so. I didn't see the crew anyways. It's apparently done. I haven't really checked on it, but how I know is that the 5G ultra wideband signal is now up there. Uh, look at the time. It's about 10 a.m. at the time of this recording. At 7.30 a.m. when I got into work, it wasn't on. They literally just turned it on, probably like within the last hour. So we're picking it up. The signal isn't very strong. I don't know if that means that the power's sort of down or just because we're inside of a brick building, but it's picking it up. This, let's test it. Literally, it's been on for just some minutes. Okay, so Verizon, 5G Ultra Wideband. This is a 60 megahertz channel of N77, 3.7 gigahertz. They call it C-band. And uh, we're seeing it going up all over the Cleveland area. So the upgrades are rapid. The upgrades are happening fast. Verizon is doing it. And uh, it's been a huge boost for capacity. And I think this is a great test because we're indoors. We're on the edge of the school inside these brick walls and you know it's picking up and it's working a lot of people had fears that it couldn't work indoors or it wouldn't work well and it wouldn't have range and i could tell you guys that is not the case all right 41 ping five millisecond jitter the ping is not very good i'm expecting that to improve over time as they you know modify and fix and tune and optimize the site 291 down and 16 up okay so that's not bad uh, let's see here. It's a 60 megahertz channel, right? Let's go ahead and do a video test and then we're going to actually do some other stuff. We'll do a fast.com. We'll do some nperf action and then I'm going to test it on the Android side of things. I got my pixel with me too. Uh, and we can kind of see how it's performing on both sides. Maybe figure out what's better. And I might go around the building and test different parts. Like right now I'm on the second level. I'd like to test the, the main level. Uh, maybe each corner of the building, maybe the middle of the building. We'll see how that performs, and then I'll test it outside. And then we can kind of have a benchmark on how it compares indoor, outdoor. And by the way, there are no students in the building today. All right, 2160p, that's doing 4K. No buffering, uh, load time of 1,194 milliseconds. Let's hit the fast.com. Let's see how that does. And uh, let's see here, what should we know about this testing? Uh, besides that it's in the morning, there's no students in the building today. So you, you wouldn't say that the tower is stressed necessarily, but there's clearly traffic on it. Uh, just not what it normally would be, I suppose, during like the lunch hours when students are out of school. Okay, 410 down here, so we got a little bit of a speed boost. I'm not sure if that's because of the server or you know, momentary or whatever. All right, so 410 down. Looks like we're in the 40s on the up, 45 millisecond ping. This is gonna be something that's gonna to have to come down, that ping time, it's gotta get better. My opinion, that's hard to do. <laughs> it seems hard to do for the carriers is to decrease ping. Uh, T-Mobile's ping times have been really good here on 5G, so that's been nice to, to see. I actually, I'm excited to test this for the CBRC if that's on. Some of the sites I've been testing lately, the CBRS has not been active. I don't know why. Um, and then they've had to go back and like fix or modify or whatever. I think I think there's some failed radios, some failed antennas. You know, something's going on hardware-wise. By the way, guys, um, this gear that we're testing up on the tower site, it, it's a it's a macro tower site on a on a light post that's behind the stadium. Uh, and I'd say it's probably about 125 feet up, maybe 150 feet up. It's pretty tall. Okay, um, we'll see how this does here as we do the nperf test. It'll test video resolution, it'll test browsing, we'll get a speed test, the whole thing. Watch for the zoom performance here. Usually these are in the 80s, so that's good. Let's watch for the zoom here, watch. Hardest thing for carriers to do. And Wikipedia is usually fine. Yeah, this is tough. Yep, terrible, zoom is trash. 18% performance rating. We usually see it in the 50s and 60s and are happy. 
All right, now it's gonna run through the video resolution playback 360p, 720p, 1080p. It'll give us a performance rating as a percentage. Then it gives like the load time and buffering time. Uh, you want the load time to be lower, you want the buffering time to be zero. And uh, then it just gives you like how much data is used there at the bottom. You will see 5G NSA, right? So this is 5G that requires an LT um, backbone uh, to, to keep it connected. You'll see Verizon Wireless at the bottom. It tells you it's a cellular network. All right, and we're going through the video. Resolution playback looks good. 94, 92. Let's see the 1080p. Hopefully it stays in the 90s. We'll be happy with that. Yep, there you go, 91. Okay, and then we're going to get the endpoint score. Pretty good, 105,000. 363 for the download peak, 274 for the average. Uplink peak at 24 megabits per second, average at 20. And then there's your latencies. 105,000 on the endpoints. The browsing a problem, that's the zoom bringing that down. And then 90, almost 93 for streaming. So that's a pretty good test. I'm telling you guys, this is, this is pretty solid results here. Uh, so we tested this, you know, what? let's go ahead and put it into LTE. I just want to see, maybe they went ahead and put on the, um, put on the CBRS because if they did, then that's just going to be an amazing, absolutely incredible upgrade. All right. I just switched it from 5G on at the top to LTE. Uh, we'll do an Ookla speed test and see how that does. I really hope they did. I know they're running at least one gig backhaul to the site. Right, or else they wouldn't have done this upgrade if they couldn't. We'll see if we're picking up the CBRS. Because there are CBRS radios and antennas up there. Nah. Doubt it. Unless it's just not getting in here. We'll know when we go outside. That that tower site, you know, that has these upgrades. The CBRS is on a lower power. So it's possible it's not even getting in. It's possible. Alright. Totally different power levels. Alright, 53 down. And 8 up. 37 ping till 10 millisecond jitter. And to show you guys the difference, uh, actually, you know what? Let's go back to speed test. Let's do the video test. I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna happen here. It's probably not gonna do the 2160p. It might do the 1080p, I think it will. No, it might do the 4K, because this is the 05 unlimited plan. So this might do the 4K. <laughs> we'll at least do the quad HD. I know that for a fact. Because I, I typically get like 40 megabits per second on the fast.com. We'll see. We're testing it. Here it is testing the 1440 now, the Quad HD. And then I still got to do the Android side of things. We'll see how that goes. And with the Android, I'll do the 5G Ultra Wideband and then we'll do the LTE. All right, there we go, 4K. You will see that the load time took more time, no buffering. But uh, that is a, is a thing. All right, let's see how the fast.com compares. I, I anticipate it to be throttled down to 40 mag or so. And it is. <laughs> yeah. 41 megabits for the downlink. We got a 46 ping time latency. And then uplink. Looks a little bit different. It's a little bit slower. We're at 19 megabits right now. 15. See, it's dropping even. Yeah, they really do um, effectively manage and uh, re reduce available throughput on the LTE side. All right, this is now it's dropping into the single digits, nine megabits. Oh. All right, now that that's done, let's go over to the NPERF situation. There's your score for the 5G Ultra Wideband. We're going to go ahead and run this. Put it through its paces on its LTE. Hmm. I'm interested to see what it's like outside now. It's quite possible that the CBRS is not getting in here. It's, you know, the wattage just isn't there. All right, max download of 110, average download of 59, max upload at 11, average upload at 9. You'll see the 4G LTE, Verizon Wireless, this is a cellular network. Now it's going to run the LTE version of all these browsing tests. See, the scores are a little lower. 79 for Google, 83 for Facebook, 81 for Amazon. Now for the Zoom the Doom. Oh, wow, 44. See, <laughs> and 92. That Zoom is just crazy. This is like the hardest thing ever. That app needs optimization for sure. Now we'll see the video test 
360p, 720p, 1080p, and it'll give you your performance rating, your load time, your buffering time if that's there, and then how much data each of them uses. All right, 360p looks good, did it pretty fast, 94% rating. I wonder if we're connected to the CBRS, the band 48. That's um, that's 3.5 gigahertz, it's on a lower power. Maybe we're connected, it's just not that strong. All right, 92 on the 720p test. You guys can see the amount of data it requires to run higher resolution. And then 1080p there, pretty good. All right, endpoints came in at 82,000, so a lower score than the 5G. All right, one uh, we, we did the speeds. Browsing came in at 76%, streaming at 92%. All right, let's go ahead and put this away. And uh, let's get the Android side going. Let me go ahead and unlock it for you guys, do my fingerprint. And, huh. It's weird it's not uh, not picking up the ultra wideband. It was initially. Let's see if we run the test, if that changes anything. I don't know, sometimes that happens. We see strange things going on, but this pixel's weird. Okay, so this is the DSS. I, mean, I get This is good to show you guys. If not connected to the ultra wideband, this is what the DSS is getting. That's N5, by the way. Band 5, 850 megahertz. Up, oh, switched. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. We'll let this test finish. So 70 by 22. Okay, that's on the DSS. Now we got the ultra wideband back. We can test it on the Android side. Thirty-five ping, <laughs> three millisecond jitter. What do we got here? About two thirty-four on the downlink. Like twenty-two, twenty-three on the uplink. Good stuff. Just glad that it's on, man. We really needed that capacity. That site gets a lot of people on it sometimes. All right, fast.com. We should see unthrottled. Two forty, two sixty, two seventy. It's going three ten, two ninety, three twenty. Nice stuff. Three thirty. And this is connecting to Netflix servers. You guys know fast.com. You guys will see Netflix there at the bottom. All right, let's go to show more. This is where you can see the latency, 43 millisecond, and then the uplink speed. I'm expecting it to be in the 20s, I suppose. You know what, the performance ain't bad considering they just turned it on. Big shout out to the Verizon uh, engineering team here in the CLE. CLE, you guys are doing great. Working feverishly to upgrade the network. Uh, big shout out to the T-Mobile engineering team. They've also been upgrading the network a lot, and uh, at and is matching Verizon tit for tat. So, uh, big shout out to the AT&T team. They're doing great. All these engineering teams are awesome. All right, 19 on the uplink. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Yeah, let's do the end perf. We'll try it on the 5G ultra wideband, and then I want to see if anything changes with the CBRS situation. Okay, and it started. So the ultra wide band still engaged, that's good. 425 downlink max, average at 215. 17 upload max, average 13. If you're wondering why I don't care about the latency on this app, is I don't like the servers, it, it's not good. All right, Google, 83%. Next is Facebook. 84%. Next is Amazon. 80%. Here's the Zoom Doom. See how the pixel does. <clears throat> 57, that's like pretty good <laughs> for Zoom. And Wikipedia is usually not a problem. All right, now we're going to see the video test. 360p, 720p, 1080p. You get your percentage performance rating, your initial loading time, your buffering time, if it has any. And those are some of the things we'll be looking for. No buffering on the 360p. That's really good. 95%. Next is the 720p test. 97, almost 97. That's really good. Look at the data used. It's like super low. It's weird. 
much lower than the iPhone testing. That's strange. Testing looks good. Streaming came in at 96%. Very good. And browsing almost 80%. That zoom is a killer. All right. That, that's the testing. Really good stuff there. Uh, pro tip. Turn off the... Uh, put your battery saver on and your phone automatically goes into LTE. <laughs> pro tip. Let's go ahead and speed test it. See if we're picking up the CBRS. Any different than the iPhone. Actually, you know what? Let's go into Signal Check Pro. Come on, run it. Huh. It's showing 20 by 60. But that would be the 5G side, the 60 megahertz of the N77. And the 20 megahertz is probably the LTE. Um, AWS, I suppose. Just based on this RSRP, oh, it says AWS. Huh. It's weird. All right, so the CBRS isn't on. Who cares about the LTE? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that CBRS like? It's usually faster. Eh, yeah, yeah. Although 82 by 13 isn't bad. Yeah, I don't know, man. I doubt it. I don't think the CBRS is connected. It would be like 20 by 10 by 10 by 10 or something like that. I don't think the CBRS is on. I'll have to test it once I go outside and see if it is. Anyways, tell me what you guys think of the testing. Brand new site just turned on. Incredible, awesome find. And glad to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all that's going on with the channel. Uh, my Twitter. Also my Gmail address if you guys want to send your business inquiries out there. Everybody want to do, you know, uh, partnerships with the SMT. Uh, and also if you guys just want to uh, also support us on Patreon, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.